हे गाइस नमस्ते माय नेम इज आदित्य दाऊद खाने और आई गो बाय स्टेज नेम म्यूजिक बाय दाऊद सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माय प्रोजेक्ट फाइल ऑफ अ सॉन्ग लेगेसी व्हिच आर रीमिक्स्ड एंड आई हैव वन द रीमिक्स कंपटीशन अलोंग विद अदर फोर विनर्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माय प्रोजेक्ट फाइल सो लेट्स डाइव इट इनटू द प्रोजेक्ट so here is the overall uh, look of the project file so i will uh, start by showing you the chord progression so i basically changed the original chord progression i wanted it to become uh, very melodic and emotional so i wrote this chord progression Have you love cuz i was in time Take heart cuz I... Then there is another piano So both together Then uh, there is a pad uh, there are lots of ambient elements in this track since it's a melodic dubstep so a lot of melodic elements was so running from the lands divine then from this section i have added strings then from this section Uh, there are there is rhythm section coming so in the rhythm section there are a simple kick and snare pattern lo fi actually then there is a reese bass then with the context of the whole they say it's in to our Then from this section, uh, I have added plugs, uh, so they sound like this. So there's a lot and lot of reverb with a uh, long decay time. and again there is addition of this uh, small top loop so in the context this i know where you go i will go your see then from here there is a very simple build up here i go kick then there is a small uh, pre drop fill here this will be our legacy then uh, there is a transition from a breakdown to the drop first drop so here are some brass taps then after the brass taps there is a main bass line Most of the things I have bounced to audio to save my CPU actually uh, with a sub bass. Then there's for a growl kind of fill. then from here the drums actually start drums uh, do not uh, start from the beginning we have uh, drum then there is this beep kind of i actually don't know why i added that but still some section is uh, uh, there is a kick 
layered with a layered with uh, 808 uh, actually i have layered 808 to give it kind of huge uh, kick effect then snare then crashes and some loops and you can see here these are the side chains this is for 8 to this is for kick and this is for 8 to 8 then here i have made a huge uh, fill so it sounds like first i will show you so uh, it's a sample so then I automated uh, the volume, then automated the pitch, so pitch goes down and goes up, then there is a second growl, then I panned it from left to right, then there is a third growl, then I panned it from right to left, Then there is a string swell coming in to just give it kind of a melodic effect. Then there is this fill. This fill is not actually in the BPM and scale of the project but still it fits. Uh, it seeks the listener's attention so that's why I added. Then there is this fill. There is a riser coming up in this section. Then I have made this exhaust. So it's uh, first there is this exhaust. Then I automated the volume. Then I automated the rate of the uh, first automation. You can see here visually. Then there is one impact and I have also panned this exhaust uh, to the right and left, um, I think, ah yes, so it just goes uh, from right to left, left to right, kind of, LFO kind of. Then in this, in the next section, there is a piano app. Then, uh, there is this vinyl crackle, vinyl crackle type of thing impact and these two pads playing consistently throughout then here i have created this sliding bass Base only but uh, very slidey. They say it's in, so wanna run from your past. Then here uh, there's a pad, a loop from uh, semantics. So I just automated the volume with claps. the main groove of rhythm section retired one shot and I have created a pretty strong side chain for the groove and I have side chain uh, everything to the drums so you can see the uh, volume of the arc drops uh, suddenly when the kick hits I will show you so it just uh, creates kind of bouncy and again a simple build up Kind 
of film. Then there comes the second drop, which is a very melodic kind of drop. The first drop was kind of a dubstep drop, and this is a melodic kind of drop. Use the layers for my saws. Detuned kind of. So this is the mid bass. Gritty kind of bass and the main sub bass. So they all together they uh, sound like. And uh, this is with context to the LFO. I created LFO. So this is the automation for LFO. Then uh, this is the lead playing over the top of the sauce. Uh, this is the lead in the MIDI, but I have bounced it to save CP. So together. So here is my first uh, fill, which is. So it was boring, so I automated the pitch. So pitch goes down. So here is the second fill. So in this fill there is a sample. So I automated the volume and then panned it slightly, panned it from left to right, and then automated the pitch. So pitch goes up, uh, upwards. And before this fill there is a foley kind of impact kind of glass breaking. So it sounds like. So here there are two fills. So I will show you one by one. So this is the first fill. So again I automated the volume. And then automated the pitch. And then the second fill. It's a vocal kind of fill. So here is the sample. So it was a normal sample then I distorted it. And added reverb with lots of decay. Then automated it from left to right. Then took the same sample and reversed it. So this is without distortion and then uh, uh, automated the volume. So the whole fill sounds like. So the both the fills together. So in the context. So here is the next fill. So someone is screaming <laughs> kind of fill. Then automated the volume. Then automated the pitch. So pitch, go, pitch is going downwards. Panned it from right to left. So again there is this fill. Automated the pitch. So in the last section of the drop, uh, along with this riser, there is this white noise riser. So again, this is the same exhaust as I show you, as I have shown you in, after my first drop. Yes, this is the overall project. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, you can DM me on my Instagram. You can mail me on uh, musicbydoubt at gmail.com. So, thank you for watching.